Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. So today we're gonna talk about a very interesting concept. It is power leveling. Now power leveling is very, very expensive when it comes to the diamonds that you're going to put into it. But essentially I am at the point of hitting level 390. I'm still kind of low for the Abyssal Expedition, pushing through the campaign with the nerf very, very well. But it is to a point where I have a ton of five-star heroes or ascended heroes in general. I believe I have 45 or 46 at this point. Um, what I need to really push progression is levels. So again, this is a very expensive method to actually gain levels, um, ultimately leveling up a lot faster than you normally would an AFK arena. But it does come at a very, very big cost, which is, of course, your diamond. If you are free to play, I highly, highly do not recommend this method, but we have seen solid, solid progression within the last couple weeks using this method, and I just wanted to share it with you. So first thing we look at is I am VIP 15. This is the pay to win account, so we have made a lot of progression in here. So we're going to go with fast rewards. We collect the free one every day. So normally every two or three days, I do get... Um, either stones out of here or I do get gear out of here. There's a significant amount of stuff that you get out of fast rewards, essentially based on your VIP level. If you're about one through nine, you might wanna use 50 diamonds a day, roughly just because of how the scaling works in AFK Arena. If you're, if you're about 10 through 12, 10 through 13, you wanna use it twice. If you're 14 or 15 or higher, you wanna use it three times a day just based on your diamonds. Again, this is a very expensive method but the return that you get from it is very solid. So we're gonna go ahead and use it once. Boom, we got two red chests out of there. So very, very good with the red chest. That is what we're looking at. We got emblems out of here. These I have been looking, class exclusive artifact fragments. We are still waiting for the very last artifact to drop, which is gonna be the final ranger artifact or the second ranger artifact. So we can go ahead and level those up. Red chest, that is two red chests, guys. That means I can go ahead and choose those faction emblems. But when you look at what I get out of here, this is really the interesting point. So I got 97 hero essence. This is what we need to go ahead and progress. We need about 38,000 of these. So 97 out of here for the heroes EXP, but we got 187 from the Field of Stars. So literally we got almost a solid double for the Field of Stars which again, as you progress further in the Field of Stars, it's going to give you more Hero Essence. Also, we do need EXP, which is right here, and Gold. Since we do have this in the Field of Stars, we also do have this over here. Um, this is the bonus from the subscriber card, and then our regular AFK rewards. So without having the Field of Stars unlocked and having that sub card, this entire bottom row, as you see it right there, we'll do it one more time. Um, there we go, we got another emblem, got some pull coins. But one, two, three, four, five, those five boxes would not exist without the Field of Stars. So again, if you're relatively early, that is going to be a very, very big benefit because that is a huge, huge astronomical bonus that you're getting out of the Field of Stars. And because of our VIP level, we are actually going to do it a third time. So not too bad. We got in a total of three emblems, two of the choice, plus some other emblems as well. Two red chests, which are very good. Plus, we got a lot of loot. Again, I, I told you this is going to be a very expensive way to kind of power level. So definitely got a significant amount of diamonds. Now we hop over to the store. So out of the store, we always buy our essence up here. We buy our poke coins out of here. We buy the large crate of hero EXP, which we're going to pick up those. Um, ultimately, this is what we get. But what a lot of players don't realize is I can actually refresh this store we do the same. So we buy this one, we buy the bottom one here. We don't worry about the emblems right now because again, remember the focus. We have to be laser focused on levels. We are looking at levels. Um, that is all we're looking for right now. So we'll refresh this a second time. Pick up a couple more of these. We will pick up the gold as well. It's relatively cheap. Now, one of the big things you want to look at is right here we have eight hours for three of these chests, 300 diamonds, or as you can see from the Lilith promo stamp right there, 20% off of this, 40% off of this, 500 for 300 diamonds. Really dependent again where you are on the campaign. This actually gives me about 1200 hero essence. So if I bought this, I'm losing out on about two thirds 
of the bonus I would get from buying one chest at 300 versus buying the essence at 300 diamonds and it is 40% off. So again, be really careful of the stamps that Lilith put on these on what percentage you're getting off on the essence itself because again, the eight hour chest, which you know what, let me make sure we don't have any in here, which we do not. And I'll show you exactly what I get out of it. So we'll buy that for 300. I usually do not purchase that one. Um, but here again, 300 diamonds for 500 essence. So in here, it gives me 1,167. So over double what it would have gotten out of there with my 40% discount. Again, you really have to make sure of the purchases that you're doing in AFK Arena. Now, the first two refreshes were 100 diamonds. This steps it up to 200. We're gonna go ahead and refresh this for 200 again. We're gonna pick the dime or the essence up. We're gonna pick up those pool coins. We're gonna pick up some of our gold there. Boom. Next refresh 200. We're gonna pick up again the hero exp. We're gonna pick up our gold, po coins, and our essence. So essentially, when you look at that, we had the store. We had two refreshes at 100 diamonds. We did two refreshes at 200 diamonds. But those five together just gave us 2,500 essence that we only had to use gold for. So essentially, the, the essence that I'm buying here versus using the diamonds, um, with the gold that I'm getting, it is far more beneficial to pick them up that way than buying them out of the shop with diamonds themselves and essentially power leveling where you're at. Because even now we're at 2,300 essence, we gained 23 million um, EXP there, 1.8 million gold. And there we go. Now we are up to 2,300 Hero Essence, which again, that is it. That is the focus. That is what we are looking for. It is Hero Essence all in till we level up. So even here on the Resonating Crystal, we're only at 390, again, waiting on Hero Essence, as you can see right down there in the bottom right. But we're level 390 out of 505 meaning that essentially we could gain 115 levels um, before we're capped, which is going to take a crazy, crazy long time to get that far. But essentially every level that we're adding, by the time we do get these essence, a majority of the time we do have enough gold and enough hero EXP to go every sub level that is throughout this level. Again, stopping, so we'll level up to 391, we'll get through all of the sub levels and then be stuck waiting for essence on the last one essentially but within the past couple weeks i was level 370 and again this gets very very expensive very quick but i was on level 370 pushing through with this method very expensive with the resources of the diamonds but we've made close to 30 levels relatively quickly going through here so essentially it is a form of power leveling um i know i don't have anyone else drag me through an instance or anything like that but ultimately we are focused on getting the this hero or this um account up up to the highest level that we can in the fastest amount of time my main account which i've been playing since almost afk arena has been released is level 407 this account is nowhere near that old and we're at 390 already we are going to catch and overtake them very, very quickly. I'd say within probably the next two to three weeks, we should be at that level, if not a little bit higher, depending on the events that Lilith does put out. So again, guys, that is my method. I Between the fast rewards and between the store, I get a lot of bonuses in there. And one big thing to note also is with the VIP level, you get daily fast rewards use increased up to 12 times per day. So that is the specific reason why as your VIP level increases, they give you more chances to use that fast rewards because they know the benefit that it comes with it. Again, doing my reset, so doing my regular one and then my three additional pulls every day, most of the time it does yield emblems within those four pulls. I also do get quite a few chests out of there. I get a lot of emblems, even faction specific emblems, mythic gear, a lot of stuff comes from the, fa the fast rewards. So do not neglect them, guys, because they are very, very beneficial. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. That is how I am power leveling this account. That's why I'm only on level 188 and we're already to 390. As you can see, even looking at this stage here, most players are 200. There's a 181, 243, 259, 240. Most of the players are 200 plus, but that is how essentially 
in the last couple of weeks, we've gained a ton of levels and really power leveled through this count. So again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.